Hi everyone, it is finally here, the long-awaited Prism Platinum A4 binder review video. Um, I have quite a few things to say about this binder, so I would just was kind of wanting to jump into it. I'm going to show you what exactly I used in my collections beforehand, prices, what I am using now for this A4 binder, and what I think about it. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. Um, I'm going to leave the big, like box part of the binder for last just because I'm probably gonna have to put it in like a different area and I haven't figured out how I want to do that yet so let's jump into the one of the binders from this two binder A4 collection okay for this review I'm gonna be like 100% honest about how I feel about these binders and things like that so um please do not take any offense to anything that I'm going to say because it's just how I feel about the binders. So obviously the pre-orders took quite a long time to get here, but that's okay. It's a pre-order for a reason. If I didn't want to wait, I would have waited, you know, until they actually came online um, and were being sold in the store, then pre-order it. So that's on me. I'm not going to complain about that, but um, these binders are gorgeous. Like they are just freaking beautiful but they are not a small binder like my normal binder takes up far less like my little target binder that I got takes up far less room than this and holds more pages in my opinion but we're gonna get into that in a little bit so I bought the Wanderlust A4 2 binder um like set so there's two binders in one huge um casing stand-up casing and um because i am an idiot i only bought enough pages for one binder of the set um i think i did this because i thought that i could fit <laughs> i didn't count all my photo cards and i thought that i could fit everything into the two with just that until I realized that these pocket pages for these binders are $20 a pop. Um, now for someone who like makes decent money, that might not be a lot, but to me that's pretty pricey, especially when the sleeves that I used previously are, yeah, probably not as great a quality. Um, but $6.99. $6.99 from Hobby Lobby and it fits into my um, binder that I used from Target. Three pocket. So that's quite a price jump to me at least. Um, that might not be expensive to you but especially for like new collectors or people who are just getting into it. I feel like that's you know quite a big price gap between the two and I would definitely recommend doing these first and if you want to upgrade and you really take your collection seriously, you can jump into this, um, the Prism Platinum one. But I will say that these sleeves that are in this binder are great quality, and the binder itself is great quality too. So let's actually take a look at the inside of the binder. So as you can tell, these binders are huge. Um, zoom in a little bit um every binder comes with a half board in the front a full back board in the back and then one of those like silver thingies hold on i'll find it one of these bad boys and i honestly still don't know how to work this i should definitely look up a video to learn but it's not a big deal to me <laughs> um so yes it comes with one of these one of the half and then a full one in the back of my binder um so that's what you get when you buy this two binder bundle um it has a great like slot open for like pulling the binders out of the um huge package that they come in and i think this is really high quality i think it's gorgeous beautiful it does leave grimy little hand fingerprints um which maybe is a me problem is obviously a me problem <laughs> but uh let's go ahead and jump into the pages and how I feel about the pages so the pages are gorgeous like I really do love the pages they are really high quality they fit the ultra pro like um photo card protectors that I use on all of my cards 
um, which is these if you wanted to know exactly what I use. It's the Ultra Pro Platinum Series of card protectors. And they fit into these sleeves perfectly. So, like for this, this is the type of sleeve that I use. Pretty thick quality. Um, and I was happy to see that they do fit into these pockets so great even these which are the amifa hold on these photo card sleeves um no they're mandu deco sorry y'all the mandu deco premium iridescent sleeves they even fit in here and in my other sleeve like the sleeves that i get from hobby lobby they are an awkward little fit i got the standard size fit from Prism Platinum for these nine pocket pages. So that is what I'm using here. And again, I do think these photo card, these nine pocket sleeves are a little pricey in my opinion, um, but I do think that they are very high quality. They're better than the Hobby Lobby, obviously photo card sleeves that you're gonna be getting, but $19 for, is it 50 sleeves? versus the $6.99 for, for 50 that might not be right. I might be mixing it up. Is it $25 a piece for the... I don't remember. I'll put it here. But um, it's just a huge price jump, in my opinion. But again, it is what it is. So um, yeah, I'm going to kind of do a flip through because I've reset up this binder and I've gotten a go in for um, Virtuous. So we're going to flip through and I'm just going to kind of talk about how I feel about it as I'm flipping through the pages, giving you guys kind of an idea of what they look like and how they sound and things like that. Okay, so I've kind of reset up everything in here. Um, this is a four ring binder versus the normal three ring that I think is like the standard American size, which also kind of sucks because unless you're living outside of the US or you have found like another place, which I haven't looked for um, four pocket, nine pocket sleeves yet, or sorry, four ring, nine pocket sleeves outside of Prism Platinum. Um, it's kind of inconvenient because you cannot just go and buy four pocket, nine pocket sleeves four ring nine pocket pages in the US without getting them online from somewhere because that's just not our average size. Um, these pages are thick. They're really nice. They're not double sided, but I mean, the clarity of these pages is insanity to me. Like I am thoroughly impressed. And again, I love the thickness to them. The one downside though, is that I feel as though you can't fit as many pages in this binder as you could because of the thickness of that. But for me, that just makes me feel like my sleeves are protected and um, you know, in a good safe place, I don't have to worry about them, which is really nice. And then also the outer casing of these uh, duo binders is nice because now you have dust protection for them. But, um, yeah, so it's kind of inconvenient for the American um, audience because you can't obviously just go out and buy four ring nine pocket pages. But again, if you are upgrading to this, you probably understand or have the money to upgrade to this and you really love your photo card collection above all other things. I do not think this is for beginners or starters for photo card collecting. Um, I definitely think that you are a collector, like a real collector, if you're getting this binder, these pages to this extent. So um, anyways, I also, if you can tell, little update, I had to cut down my pobs just because I was feeling like I had too many photo cards and um, I wasn't appreciating them enough and I know other people would have wanted them to complete their collections like if they wanted to like fully collect summer holiday. I had some pops so um, I did lessen them down to nine pages unless I couldn't get rid of some like I think this era has an extra one on the page with the photo cards and I think Bon Voyage also will have some of that too but anyways. Um, so that's a little different in my collection now. Um, I am really happy with these binders. Like 
for everything that I'm saying, I do think that these are a great purchase. Um, it's just quite pricey and that's okay if you have the money to spend on it. Um, but like for me, I didn't buy enough sleeves for both my album and non-album collection. So I have to go back in. Today, I literally went to buy another two um, photo, like photo card nine pocket sleeves from them. And ordering two of them is $50. It's 49, like 20 or something like that for me just to get um, another two things of pocket pages. So that's like, um, not something I'm looking forward to having to buy or like put my time into, uh, you know, because that is, you can buy a lot of things with $50, you know, and it doesn't have to be nine pocket pages. Uh, but that's just me being a little, you know, like, eh, about that's the only part I'm really eh about. Um, anyways, yeah, let me flip through this a little bit quicker for you guys so that you're not like, girl. Oh, and then here is virtuous. Um, I did not do a sorting photo cards for this because I've just kind of been waiting for Prism Platinum to get these to me. Um, I am still missing these two Polka QR cards. So if you have them for sale for um, a decent price, let me know. I will snag those from ya. And then here are my POB page. It's not finished yet. I, I have I have the like ribbon PC coming, but I do have something to put away for this page. Okay, we do have this guy to put away. Um, I have a few more that I'm trying to decide if I want to keep or not because, again, like I said, I'm trying to keep my pop pages down to nine pre order cards um, and era. So there is that bad boy. And then I think I have. I have a band-aid card with her rainbow hair and then the ribbon card on the way to me. So, yes. Um, let's quickly go through this. Not a lot has changed here. I have gotten rid of a few cards though, just to lessen the load of cards that I didn't really like or enjoy. I do have a card to put away in here today though, which is really exciting. This is a new card. I put her away uh, yesterday, two days ago, I think. Um, Cause I did love Vision. So I wanted to get that card to finish her up. And then we have this card. Finally, Emily got it for me as an early birthday gift. Miss Rainbow Haired Sua. So happy to have her home. Oh, and um, Sorry, I didn't even talk about it. I do like, um, they don't have like the tab over the top of them. They're pretty easy to slide in. And like I said, the pages are really nice feeling and heavy duty. So yeah, pretty cool. Nothing slips and slides all that bad in these. Um, obviously I haven't tried shaking it the way like Shy did in one of her videos. <laughs> but um, I at least for what I have intentionally planned for my album or photo cards, they, yeah, I'm not really worried about them, you know, shaking up and going all over the place. But anyways, and then we start on some of my new Virtuous photo cards. I am going to be collecting the weapons set that they did. Uh, I think I am only missing Jiu and Sua. I think I have everybody else on the way. So exciting stuff. Um, and then here are the rest of my pulls from the era. And then we do have a Yuhyun Pob. I finally picked out what Yuhyun Pob I wanted here, which is a lot of fun. Um, and then we have this. So, how many pages did I have remaining? I think I have four. One, two, oh no, three. I have three pages remaining. That's, that's, that's what I've got. Um, and if you can't see, I don't know if you can tell how thick they are. They are like thickums boys, okay? Like... I mean, look how, look at that. They are not small little pages. Um, and then, like I said, each of them came with a backboard. So there's that to keep your cards from folding, which is really nice, or your sleeves from folding up, which I think is really great. But anyways, yes, that's the extent of this kind of review. Now I'm going to try my best to show you guys the 
actual like box, which may be a struggle, but we're gonna we're gonna try our best. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so here is the actual, like, box. It is freaking huge. Like, comparatively to a shelf, which I'll show you, this thing is massive. I mean, huge. I mean, it's it's really giant. Like, compared to Rengoku on one of the big three-wick cam candles from Bath & Body Works. She's a big old girl, okay? Um, But... I like it because I think the set is really nice. Like I said, you've got these little pullouts, um, which are really cool where you can just, you know, yank it out from that way. And then the out box is really pretty. It's got these cutouts in it, which, you know, is cool. I could do without, don't really care about those all that much, but like just a huge box. So... That is that. Sometimes I have issues with like sliding the full binder in, but honestly, that's not a big deal to me. It's kind of like whatever, you know, it slides in 90% of the time without issue. Um, only sometimes do I have issues sliding it in, but do I think that the Prism Platinum binders are worth it? I do. I do. If, if you are like a true K-pop photo card collector, I do think you'll like these. Um, especially if you have the money to afford them. But do I think they're pricey? I do think they're pricey. I think that you can probably, until you want to like save up for these or like ask for them for Christmas or your birthday or like as a gift or something like that. Honestly, I would stick with, um, as an American at least, I would stick with the three binder, like three ring binder because everything is very easily accessible to you. You don't have to wait for anything. You can go to Target, you can go to Hobby Lobby and get whatever you need. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys liked this video. It was pretty quick. I didn't have a lot to say to it because it's like, I do like it, but there's quite a few things that I wish were different about it, which, you know, whatever, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, um, cool. If you didn't, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you hated this video, but I'm not associated with Prism Platinum at all or anything like that. So please... Don't think that I'm getting anything from this. I literally bought all this with my own money. And yes, I reviewed it all from a, from the heart, you know? So if you guys have any questions about like things that I use and stuff like that, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, and yeah, that's, that's going to be it for me, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.